Today a modern flow blast line produces an average of several hundred tons of blast per day. It operates 24 hours a day, 365 days a year for more than 15 years. There are about 450 float glass lines worldwide, producing together more than 1 million tons of glass float worldwide every year. Today, float glass manufacturing supplies glass to a variety of markets including solar panels in automotive architecture and many other engineering applications. Glass production uses some of the most abundant raw materials on Earth, the main ingredient being sand, 60% of which is a cold lime, and dolomite, a ready to assist on the weathering properties of the finished glass while soda and sulfate lower the temperature at which sand will melt but glass itself is also an important ingredient. Flow glass is extremely smooth. Distortion-free glass uses many windows application. It is also provides the material for many other forms of glass, including tinted glass and laminated glass. Flow glass is made by pouring the molten glass from a furnace into a chamber that contains a bed of the molten tin. The process is sometimes called the Pilkington process. The atmosphere inside the chamber is carefully controlled. The glass floats of the tin and the foams itself in the shape of the container. It spreads 90 to 140 inches wide at a thickness determined at the time of the manufacture. The upper surface of the glass is a called the air side of the score side. It is a polished white fire. The lower surface is a called the tin side. It is not fire polished. From the chamber the glass enters an oven, called a layer. There is a slowly cooled at a specific rate. This process called an oven relieves the glass of the internal stress. The rate of the cooling is crucial to the success of the final products. The glass emerges from the layer at room temperature as a continuous ribbon. It is flat fire finish to the top and has smooth parallel surface. Automatic scutchers trim the edges and cut the glass to the length. start our technological tour by analyzing the float glass manufacturing process. The float layer is a rough the glass whose some main comes from the liquid and sand that floats in the other materials on the bed of the molten metal. This is a glass in its most basic state without coating, lamination and other treatments. 
Importantly, however, the fact-free float glass is the foundation for all advanced glass products. Each factory is a state-of-the-art 24-7 facility. Let's machinery technology channel to analyze the process of the converting common materials into pristine transparent flag glass every day. Hundreds of tons of raw materials arrive at the factory and enter the mixing house. The mixing house is where materials are precisely inspected, measured and mixed into a bed of the dry materials that later become a glass. In addition to batch mixing, there is also a process called recycling of fish scraps. Broken glass will be returned by customers and mixed again into the batches. This environmentally friendly program reduces the batch raw material requirements by at least 15%, after which the entire batch is sent to a giant 36-foot wide furnace that reaches temperatures up to 3000 degrees Fahrenheit. Charger punishing the raw material into thermal furnace turns. These raw materials are put into the four deep liquid tank. The liquefied glass is then skimmed over the molten tin bath. The glass spreads out into a wide sheet or a ribbon where is a drawing shape. The wall thickness is precisely controlled. Here, skilled technicians can adjust the glass configuration. This process is continuously monitored from the control room to ensure quality. The control room is the nerve center of the plant where the manager monitors the float line and directs the technicians on a variety of tasks. As the glass exists in a tin tank and enters the analyzing layer, the ribbon lifts up the tin as it passes through the layer. It is cooled slowly to control stress of the glass and ensure uniform thickness. The bulk air section is the final stage of the incubation layer. This is where the glass is bombarded with air causing its temperature to drop to the level that can cut a 20 miles of glass ribbon that passes through the cold end of the factory that produces more than 600 tons of glass per day. The effect in a row glass are virtually unheard of due to advanced system that includes laser defect definition cameras for edge detection and special lighting for manual point inspection. If there are a defect, they will be automatically marked and a cutting system will cut around that part. Beyond specification, carriers score the glass with incredible precision. After scoring, the glass is broken with an impact roll that breaks is along the scoring line. Selecting each pane of glass is then moved in real time through a computerized routing system to the picking station. The direction of the lamp is carefully managed, which became important in low and coding operation where the surface perfect surface integrity is very important so extreme care must be taken when picking. Glass is an important part of the world we live in. It is an integral part of many functions in our daily lives. Glazing needs to offer so much more than allowing natural light into a building and provide clear interrupted views. Very thin coatings are added to flow glass to add additional functions modern buildings require, from solar control to improve installation of anti-reflection properties. Why do you think? This glass producing technology. Let me know your toad below in the comment section. If you have any interesting topic, please subscribe.